All right. Hey, we're doing another Grace announcement, Grace video, Grace celebration. Grace celebration. <laughs> Like okay, so good. yeah, and this is this is good stuff. So we're gonna first we're gonna talk about stuff that's that's really good going on. Um, do you know Seven Nation Army by White Stripes? Uh -uh. That dun 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 dun. Yes, I know. Okay, uh, all okay. right. So my family knows when that song starts to play at games and things. The lyrics are actually T.J. Watt is my hero. <laughs> so I'm wearing this today because there is a divisional leader in the. AFC Central, okay. and uh, it is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice. And TJ Watt has been doing his thing. So I just thought we should celebrate that. Well, you were a little worried when at the never, beginning of the season. Oh, Marco, with, I've with, never been worried. With all the quarterback stuff. Yeah, like, you yeah. didn't know what was. Okay. So I've always said, like, if you claim to have two churches, you don't really have a church because uh -huh. you don't have anybody you're committed to. I think that usually applies if you have two quarterbacks. You don't really have a quarterback you don't have to lean on. But we got two quarterbacks. Yeah. It works for us. Nice. So yeah. You guys making it work. So yeah, yeah. But I don't want to distract the church. So I'll I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and take that one. <laughs> oh no. And that's wrong. Right. This Double is a Heath Miller jersey from the old days, because I'm telling you, it feels like the Steelers of old. Nice. We're back. Without the wrong bettis. Without the bus. I'm <laughs> providing the body type of the bus. I'm bringing that to the picture today. So uh, right, I'll gosh. take that one off again. And it's the same colors, oh. but it's more about Zeke's and the Berries church plant. Nice. So I'll wear my, my Wonder shirt. All right. So nice. we got other stuff to celebrate too, though. Yes. Soul of yes. City. Yes. All right. Um, <sighs> you need to know. I wanted to get party hats. I was going to have those little noisemakers. And they don't. They don't. They had princess party hats at Dollar General, and I didn't want to do that to you. I might be done with that. That's what I was afraid. Of. Annika, <laughs> Annika would enjoy that. Yes, day. yes. It could have had him for a birthday. I should have done them last week, and then you'd have them. All right, that's right. Let's talk core team. Yeah. You had some stuff developed there. Yeah, man. Uh, Lisa and I went to Gatlinburg during our fall, uh, the kids' fall break. Yep. And uh, we were just hanging out and chilling, and we got a text from. Um, a couple that we really been praying about, um, a couple of Haitian uh, missionaries. Yeah. Um, they are solid believers, um, come from a good church background, um, and they wanted to let us know they're moving. They enjoy being our neighbors. And hey, by the way, we've been praying and we want to come alongside you and your core team. Awesome. So awesome. If, if, if I if I didn't weigh what I weighed, I could have done a cartwheel and a back <laughs> and a double round tuck. But we were so excited, yeah, uh, yeah. Lisa and I, because we really been um, uh, praying for this couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, yeah, awesome. So they just kind of, hey, here's some news, and then just threw that down at the bottom. Just threw it oh, hey, by the way. bottom, like, oh, you're moving. Oh, oh, oh. So a little bit of that bittersweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. They're but they're staying in Richmond. They're kind of Close. on the New Paris Richmond okay. Okay. border. Yeah. So I actually went out to their farmhouse, helped them move, and uh, they got a nice little. Little lay of land, okay. um, some a place where they can host and do things. And yeah. So, yeah, but they're also awesome. still in kind of in in town for other things and school and things like that. So oh, cool. All right. So anybody else? Yeah, actually, man, you're gonna know this person, Catherine Kaufman. Mm -hmm. She she committed yeah. to us, so we're very thankful. Thank you so much, Catherine, uh, for deciding to come alongside with us in this ride. We've been. Uh, conversing back and forth. You know, she has a connection at IU. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, hopefully we can get some of those other students on board. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but we, awesome. We've got a third person. Let's see. We have, also have Maya. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know yeah. who Maya is, but when um, Danny and I were doing coffees at Roscoe, she was the first person yeah. I think you met. Yeah, said, yeah. Whenever your church gets yeah. ready, I want to be a member. So she was really our first core team person, and we're working on more. Yeah. Um, we have a couple of coffee dates on the okay. schedule, um, a couple of other families considering. So just trying to be patient and let the Lord do his work. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So seeds are being planted. Things are happening. We're seeing some movement. Mm -hmm. So cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. So also this last week, you got some good news uh, yeah. that was a stressful season to the good oh. news. So let's talk about the assessment. <laughs> First of all, we've been saying Marco and Lisa are getting assessed. Solar City is getting assessed. Mm -hmm. um, we've never really necessarily, I think, defined that. Yeah. Like, do you want to describe for everybody what, what the assessment kind of looks like? Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Harbor Network, you know, the church planting network that Grace is a part of, really does a good job. They're a church planting network, and that's mm -hmm. what they do. They want to come alongside and equip church planters to plant healthy churches. But they want to focus on, like, three to four different categories. They want to make sure the marriage is solid, mm -hmm. that your theology and doctrine is solid, that your your hands, which would be discipleship and shepherding, is, is solid. And I feel like I'm missing one more thing. Or head. Yeah, maybe that's yeah, it. Got him. That's you it. Got him. Yeah, yeah. So your own soul care. Yeah, you're kind of in there with marriage. That's kind right. Of the same category. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So so we we went down there and um, we had a pilot couple, really cool people, Chris and Crystal Jones. Hopefully, you don't mind me saying your names, <laughs> but they were just down to earth and just really relaxed us, and they were with us through the hands, heart, head component, um, and they were there to kind of like fill in the gaps if those assessors had any questions about mm -hmm. things that they didn't know about us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, anyway, beautiful ministry opportunities where they got to learn about us. They cried with us. Mm -hmm. They laughed with us. They were really thankful uh, to have met us. Um, so, and we were thankful to meet them. So we went through those different components um, and, um some of it was stressful, um, especially when they got to, to things that mm. um, was hard to talk about, um, but it was necessary. So um, they really want to make sure that Lisa and I are healthy, um, that we are in a place to plant a church. Because as you know, ministry is, is fun mm. and it's God glorifying, um, but it's, it's, it's hard. Right. Yeah, yeah, it, can, yeah. it can be difficult yeah. if there are holes in you and there's not going to there's going to be holes in, in everywhere. Right. We're not we're not perfect. But if there are like holes, they want to come alongside and kind of help patch those or um, at least give us some awareness of some things they are seeing. Right. Yeah. You want to. Yeah. yeah no, I think you're right that? on. You're right on. I think some of the things it, what I've heard in conversations with assessments before is like there's certain things that are like knockouts. Mm. So like. If a guy wants to plant a church and his wife really doesn't want him doing it, mm -hmm. it's like, dude, you probably yeah. shouldn't do it. Right. And they can see you that. They yeah, can yeah, see, yeah. Like they're yeah. really good at spotting that. You can't get through without them finding out. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so you have that. But then you have like you're saying like, hey, so here's some areas of growth. Let's And we even got a game plan to help you with that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think it's just even that self-awareness thing of like you go through the process and you realize, oh, this is a little more who I am. Or what my ministry style is, and nothing needs to change about it. Yeah. I'm just better equipped if I know about it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think it's a lot of that. I will say for Marco and Lisa both, I so I got to serve assessing a couple other couples. I didn't, I wasn't a part of Marco's assessment. The amount of paperwork you have to do, mm. um, first of all, for the time commitment that is. Um, again, if we hadn't made some adjustments with worship, I don't know how you would have gotten all that done. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, Corey. Um, but also, mm -hmm. like the the amount of questions and the type of questions they ask, there's nowhere to hide. Right. Like I think it, it's you, you get in a room and you could just be like, so you guys getting along or you feel called to the ministry, yeah. you want to plant, and it leaves it there, and you don't get to the heart. Right. The number of questions they ask and the depth of the questions, it's like okay, they they sit down with you and they're ready to really talk shop. Right. And they're, they're not they're not, not trying to hurt and harm no. you. Yeah, yeah. They really love you. And yeah. they want to see God's church be be not uh, you know in, in a matter of speaking uh, be you know blow up and be successful yeah. and be healthy. So yeah, yeah. they're going to get to the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the reasons why we're in Harbor Network is because we love um, we we love church planting. We want to see churches planted. We want to see this church planted in Richmond, mm -hmm. but we don't want to see it come at the cost of you and Lisa. Right. So it's like okay, we want we want both things. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. awesome. So you did that. It's like five, six weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. Then my man had to go to a Harbor Network conference that we were all at yeah. and see all of the people that have been a part of your assessment. Yes. And yet they're not allowed to tip their hat on right. what's happening or anything. And I didn't anticipate how hard that was. <laughs> it was rough. Like it was, I wanted to go and just enjoy everybody, yeah. but I felt like I really couldn't. Yeah. Because you're like wondering Am I in? Am I not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a prophetic word? Are you are you leaning towards something? No, you're not. Oh, okay. So I described for him, we had <laughs> both of our girls, it just worked out with the girls. 
we didn't want to know the gender when we went into the ultrasound. Um, but then we got home and we spent the whole time going, did the nurse say his foot? <laughs> did you hear this? Did they say he <laughs> like, and you, and I feel like we were kind of doing that. Yeah. Like we were both, I was, cause I was excited too, kind of yeah. wondering like, okay, they're not supposed to tell us yet, but maybe we'll find out <laughs> by something to accidentally say. And they didn't, they, they were they, guarded. They were. They so were we were good. out of luck. They were good. And my anxiety went. <laughs> didn't make it easier. Them. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but then Tuesday. So two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got a report given to you and then you got on the phone was or Skype with Brandon and then was with the Joneses too? Yep. Okay. Yep, with Brandon yeah. and the Joneses. But before that, oh, yep. we had um, the assessment um, results scheduled. And because Annika's birthday was on a Thursday, we couldn't do it. So we had to reschedule it for, what was it? Tuesday. 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 Come a whole weekend. So my anxiety no went to, a, <laughs> to all time. Yeah. High. Yeah. So, so what'd you hear? Now we're building up anxiety for people watching the video. Yeah. What'd we hear? So what, what we heard was, congratulations, congratulations. Yeah. And it's still trying, it's still hitting me in the heart um, that we are going to be planting a church. Uh, man, eight years of grace and this man pouring into Lisa mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're thankful. We're thankful. So they gave us what they consider they do green, yellow, orange, and red. And you could pretty much know what all of those mean. And they gave us a yellow. And what that means is move forward with your planting. Um, uh, get the core team, start working on your website, get all the infrastructure in place. Um, but what that means is we just want you to do a couple of things. And it's minor. Continue establishing good rhythms of of um just you and, and and lisa getting out and doing things together um because when ministry comes as you already know mm -hmm. um you and you and your wife and ben and his wife are already kind of doing that mm -hmm. um but just continue to establish good rhythms um read a couple of books mm -hmm. here's a counseling a biblical counseling class that we recommend and we'll double back with you in six months mm -hmm. um check in with you every month by by six months june 2025 um, um, if those things have been done, we'll open the floodgates basically mm -hmm. to all the funding and all the resources, coaching, coaching and, and all the yeah, yeah. classes, yeah. but move forward, please do the life groups, do the core team. You are going to plant a church. It's mm -hmm. not, we're holding you back. You're moving forward mm -hmm. with these small little minor things that you need to do. And that's it. Yep. So yep. we are thankful for that yeah 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 i mean a lot of the conditions were basically keep on keeping on yeah like you're on the right path you're doing the right thing don't now that you i think that even becomes part of it now that you've heard us affirm you don't let off the gas and think okay we did what we, but keep right. investing keep in investing areas. right and then, right and the good, yeah. th the good thing about you know reaffirming lisa and i is we harbor rarely gives out the green light yeah, yeah. there's always something the minister the pastor can do um, to continue working in certain areas. So yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. So celebrate with us. Yeah. We're excited about that. Um, I'm so I'm thrilled for you guys. Uh, I think we talked and it was like, yeah, you're nervous, but at the same time, like I had a pretty good feeling about it. I, and I think part of it is been able to watch you work. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll just say this as we wrap up, like celebrating, um, like, ministry can be hard. And I, and when we say that, like I I'm always hesitant because I don't want to make sound like it's harder than what other people do and stuff. A dimension of ministry that is hard that I think some things also have, I'm watching my wife as a teacher dealing with a lot of the similar stuff too. Um, the things to celebrate always have something behind it. That's mm. more to do. Mm. And so like, you just got assessed and they're saying we're good to go. Here's some conditions. Well, once those conditions are met and you're full on like, yep, yeah, you still got to get that core team together. You yeah. still got to launch. Who cares if you have a core team and you launch, if you don't meet the next week. Right. So like right. it's the, the formation of the church and it's never kind of finished. That's right. The work is always there. Um, you made a joke about doing a cartwheel because of your size. But I'm going to say, I don't want to get too personal to, you know, leave it for you to whatever. Dude, you're not the size you used to be. Mm. You've you've really seen some success there. Yeah. And like, 
I think that's a great example. Like that's something to celebrate. Yeah. That's a lot of sacrifice mm -hmm. and a lot of work and a lot of effort. And yet you also feel this like, but not done yet. Right. And that's sort of what the church plan is going to be too. Yeah. So I think it's critical that in moments like this, we don't get, because I know you and you're a doer and you're an accomplisher, like, okay, I, I got that word. What's the next thing? And yes. you just start looking ahead and we got to slow down. We got to pause and we got to genuinely celebrate these moments because yeah, there's always more to do, but these are the moments to be reminded, man, God's been with us the whole way. It's been really good. That's a good word, bro. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Well, I love you. Yeah. I love you. It's been a privilege to be able to sit and watch and it's going to keep being one. Um, we just had a conversation recently as an elder team where I think Marco was kind of thinking once January comes and he rolls off of being on staff and everything is full bore focused yeah. on the church plant that he's probably not going to be around anymore. <laughs> and a couple of the guys were like, why, if you don't have Sunday commitments, why wouldn't you come hang with us? And we were like, yeah, right. Yeah. Why yeah. Wouldn't we? <laughs> so I think, you know, even with that, like, there's probably no reason like you won't see him continue to be in like the preaching calendar yeah. and rotating around until doing things here on a Sunday would take away from Sola. Yeah. But as of right now, we're not there. So not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. But man, we could celebrate you are eventually. Eventually. We're, we're excited about where things are headed. Amen. So love you guys. Uh, we wanted to send that out and celebrate it before Sunday morning, but also want to let you know, like, grab your brother, give him a hug, let him know how excited and happy you are for him too. And, uh, you know, maybe not only January comes, Vision Night, we'll talk more details about the church planning, but the week after Vision Night, maybe gather at the church and watch the Steelers win the Super Bowl. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. 